everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing another Vaganova walkthrough. This time we're going to be doing the graduation bar. So the Vaganova walkthrough that I've done previously, which I've had a lot of positive feedback from, I think you all really enjoyed that and I'm so glad because obviously I really enjoy sharing it, especially the emotions behind it. Um, that was the pre-graduation year. And obviously that video was from the actual exam. Now this video I came across that I have in one of my drawers full of my videos um, is a rehearsal in a different studio to the exam studio. Um, this studio is called um, Chitviotti Vier, <laughs> which means, you know, the fourth studio up. Um, so this is unlike um, the top floor or one of the top floors um, and it's quite a large studio. There's no paintings in it um, so it's quite plain and my teacher's husband was filming um, the rehearsal. He's often a stage, um, he stages ballets at the Marinsky often and um, my teacher's son is also at the Marinsky. Um, and so you can, I, f I think this is much more interesting in a way for some of you because this isn't like the perfect exam. Um, things go slightly wrong for some people, etc. And I think I'll share a lot from this video. Um, but we're going to do the bar today because that's what we've been covering most recently. All right, so let's get started. So enjoy. And I'm going to be sharing the emotions and technical things and what went through my head at the time. Um, I had just got back from recovering from my stress fracture in this video. So. Um, there's a couple of bits where my teacher says like don't bend backwards um, just yet Isabella. This was already a lot of strain for me on my back, you know, because I hadn't done this demand this demanding stuff for six months. I've been off for like six months. Um, so I was so eager to like try and I, I was very strong. I did so much work um, as you'll see, but um, I didn't lose fitness in that way, but it was hard for me. Anyway, let's enjoy. So as you can see, the um, my, hus uh, my husband, my teacher's husband put all our names up there, which was super duper nice. Um, that's my name coming up with the little hat on the letter. Um, and yeah, it's just really nice. I think we're going to get started in a minute. That's my friend Alina. I wonder if he got me at all. Oh, there I am. <laughs> Stretching, oh yes, in my band, always in my band. All right, here we go, so we're getting ready for the rehearsal. I think this is the first time we ran through it. So, um, yeah, I think I had prepped myself quite well. I was ready to go, that's me in the center. So that um, Asian girl second in from the front, her name's Amy, Amy O'Donoghue. She was a good friend of mine. And notice how we use our head so much on Allongé, you know. Allongé. It's kind of very emphasized. And I think it's often really overlooked. And I always, you know, focus on that with my students, we use our head a lot, you know, elbows wide, clean, deep plies, flat turnout is a must. Nice let go of the bar. I always had a good warm-up routine prior to class. We always, always did Pilates and a lot of stretching. Not too much stretching though, because I wanted to obviously feel my muscles. So most of my stretching happened at night time. 
See, I don't go very far in the back bend, as you can see. Took my time. And we're not all completely together, as you can see. See, at this point in my training, like, as you can see, I still find it difficult to close to, close to fifth in front with a straight knee. And then uh, it was only later I discovered how to use my inner thighs properly. Toes back when we close. She always kept the tondu exercise quite simple, which I think we all appreciated because she really ramped it up from jeté onwards. <laughs> Part of why she put me in the middle was because I was the tallest. Here we go. <laughs> but because I was the tallest, I also had to be the best, which is why she gave me such a hard time. <laughs> also, I just love her voice. Listen to her screaming. That got me through the day. I just felt her passion, you know, passion for what she did. The teacher is very important. You know, I, all I wanted to do was uh, like get her praise because her praise meant everything. And lots of upper back, as you can see. One. I don't think you'd have guessed that I had a back injury. So serious. <laughs> Good look, Ekate back. Make sure you get to Ekate back on that moment. She just said I had the musicality correct there on the turn. So look, some praise, that probably made my day. <laughs> Bat and one on demi point, difficult. That was another thing I noticed, um, you know, as a difference from the Royal Ballet School, say. I was kind of told to tone it down a bit at the Royal Ballet School, whereas here it was like the opposite. It was like, for God's sake, push them up more. I love this bit, it's so dramatic. And the pianist, just wonderful music. I don't bend back in this bit. I obviously took it easy. In the exam I did, obviously. And then she says, breathe. Lift your chest. You know, constantly improving our expression of our body. Down, chest. Good, I think I'll just explain that quickly. You know, in that Grand Ronde de Jean from Arabesque, it was like, she was like, vdoch, as in breathe. And you can see, if you rewind, you can see we lift our heads again. And I really went for it just because, oh, I felt it so much. It was like, breathe in, down. And then she was like, chest. So then we lift the chest through second and then come round, you know? And that just takes it up a level. You're suddenly expressing yourself. You're expressing more within your body, which is just, what makes them so special and it, I'm so passionate about it and I before going there I'd never I didn't know completely how to express myself so yeah that's one of the things I'm so grateful for let's carry on I think my back was already Feeling a little bit tight because, yeah, look, upper back. Um, because, you know, we've been going full out since I got, since I got back and I wasn't quite used to it. But again, you know, I know my, my limits and I knew my capabilities. So I think, you know, I could still get my leg higher than this before. I hated that move so much. That frette is really difficult for me. I practiced that so much. Because it, uh, 
now she's like saying tasty legs, tasty. So we're not just kicking our legs, there's resistance there. And now she's just saying soft in the plie. Oh, Amy nailed that pirouette. Gorgeous lines. Heels forward, obviously, when we land. Frappe. We're using our head constantly. I love those walks so much. As long as our heels are forward, so does the teacher. <laughs> She says, nos, nose. Use your nose at the end, palm. I always get out of breath <laughs> watching. But we were so fit, honestly. We we're at the height of our fitness preparing for exams because this is so hard. All right, now we go Adage Grand Batman. Using our upper back. I'm going to do a tutorial on that, how to do that movement soon. Breath before we do the flip flag. Hold arabesque. And after a <laughs> back injury that I didn't really want to do that for so long anyway. <laughs> Stay, she says. And now we get dramatic, and I just love this moment. And using your back. And hold. Nice and sharp. Allongé. This is a difficult. Tombe turned out. Hold. Slowly, slowly, she says. Last exercise. This is my absolute favorite, enjoy this. Now she says, stay. Hold it for a second. Hold on to your supporting leg like mad. Let's do a tutorial on that. It keeps you going. And head. Hold on to your sporting leg. Heels forward. Arms up first. Good. Relax. Now she's like, as if you were walking off. And look, we're a bit tired. <laughs> <laughs> Walking off dead as a dodo, we've got the whole centre to do. I wonder if he zooms in at all at this point. Maybe not. But good. But guys, I mean, that's it. Um, you know, I'd say like a month, a month's work went, went into that. You know, a lot of work and it was quite intense. Um, you know, a lot of intense work went into that. And like I say, we're going to go into, um, we're going to do tutorials of um, some of the movements. Oh, I'm just sneaking a drink there because we're not actually allowed to drink. So you can see <laughs> drinking. I'm going to do, um, oh, there she is, our wonderful teacher. Oh, she's like, get ready, let's go. <laughs> um, so we'll do the center separately um, in another video as well as point and turns. And I know some of you are really eager to get into doing um, actual tutorials of some of the steps, um, which we will definitely do 100%. Um, and we'll, you know, take it slow. We'll do a bit of the adage, let the grand soutenu. Let me know, actually. So now that you've watched that video, let me know exactly which steps interest you in going into detail with, um, because 
you know, I'd love to hear from you. Please like, please subscribe, um, comment below. Um, you know, your support means a lot. And, you know, it's also just really nice, you know, um, you know, years have gone by now. That's like 10 years ago. Um, but it's so nice um, sharing it with you now and kind of feeling the appreciation for all the hard work that I did and we all did, um, you know, at that time because that was a really, really difficult time for me for many, many reasons. And reading your comments and knowing how you appreciate my dancing and these videos means so much. So thank you again. And um, I can't wait to share more. Thank you so much.